Hello and welcome to this video. We've had a number of um, comments saying that their services window does not show the Windows update anymore. Okay, now there may be numerous reasons. Some program might have caused an issue with it. Your registry might have been corrupted or also malware. We shall address in this video conditions relating to registry corruption, the service being deleted, etc. And we'll just give you a quick example. The first thing is, okay, we've opened up a command prompt and we've done that by cmd and then run as administrator and then that opens up. We also opened up registry editor to show you the registry location for that. So type R-E-G-E-D-I-T and then run that as administrator and then this opens up and where you're going is basically in here you're going H key local machine system current control set services scroll all the way down till you get to the Windows Update service which is W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V now you'll notice this registry has a few others in it. If you need to restore your registry, my suggestion is you go to another clean computer or install Windows 10 on a separate clean computer and then just quickly copy this. How you do it is click on that, export. We're going to save it as update you could give it any name as a reg file and we're just going to save it on the desktop now if this was deleted the service would not be running it would not work etc how can it disappear very simply we'll show you sc delete and then the service name is that's right at the top. We'll just copy that, control C, and then we'll just paste it in here. And you will now see, stop it, and then refresh it. And there you go. As you can see, it has disappeared. Now, to get it back, all we simply need to do, and all these commands should be in the description, is run this so it's sc create and then it's w u a u serve okay the display name windows update and the path of where that is running from is basically windows system 32 svc host.exe and then we've given some command properties to start it okay and we've also said it depends on the remote procedure call services run that create service and we've got Windows Update back. We've got it back but we cannot start it and the reason for that is basically our registry has been corrupted. Now how we would actually just solve this I'm gonna quickly delete ours as we already backed it up make sure you don't delete without having a backup okay and then let's assume you have now got your clean registry bit that you're going to add in. And you click yes. Are you sure you wish you want to proceed? Now that's restored it to a nice clean state with all its required settings. Now we can start it. There you go. And we happily have Windows Update running. This is one way to actually restore your Windows Update service. Um, you've also probably seen how to delete services. If you don't like a service over here, you can delete a service using the SC delete command. Um, another option is when you get this, a solution is to basically do a repair install. All it is is basically a 15-30 minute job roughly 
where you download the Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft and then you just click on setup it'll reinstall Windows again on top of it keeping all your files etc we have a video on that and the link should come up over here and follow that and that's a nicer way a simpler way to also restore your computer when it has problems hopefully this video has helped thank you for watching